driving down the street of Africa looking at a young woman standing alongside the road and her child and my thought process was God why do you have me here today I can't feed them I can't clothe them I can't house them I can't do the things that I believe need to be done here coming home and running for a local office city office here in the city of Greenwood I went door to door checking on neighbors and seeing what they're hurting from the city is really divided into two different areas east side and west side and those on the east side really need a lot of support. I was still asking God, God, why did you have me in Africa? And he said, I was preparing you for what you could do here. We have people here that care, uh, that generally have a heart for those that are hurting and that just want to reach out and, and help in any way possible. There's so many ministries that, that we try to offer to help those that are in need. We offer education classes, finance classes. We can help you with computers. We can help you write a resume. We can try our best to get you back on your feet. I first signed up to come in on Monday nights and sort food that is donated throughout the day on Mondays. And then I was asked to help in the office. And then the more you're here volunteering and the more you get to know the volunteers and the work that's being done, the more you want to get involved and get excited about it. And when I came here, I realized that here at the refuge, we're trying to teach something. We're trying to help um, help the families get through stages in their life and hopefully move them on to a pattern where they will be able to help others and maybe not be so dependent on the refuge, but they've learned from the refuge. We are a faith-based organization. We always want to offer that to them, offer to pray with them, just be um, the hands and the feet of Christ, just to be um, the body that we're called to be. It's a blessing to be able to do that and uh, be able to tend to the spiritual aspect that people might be searching for. Um, God's blessed us with this building and facility and the people to be able to do it and it's just an honor to be a part of it. We want kids to be able to drop in, drop in off the streets, come in and have a good time. They can shoot pool, they can get on the computer, they can play ping pong, they can hang out. We could have a tutor here for them so they can do their homework. We could have mentors here for them so they can sit down and talk to somebody and just let it out. I lost a job due to the economy starting to go bad because they were laying off people. And that caused us to lose our house. So we lost our house, we lost our van, and we had to rebuild. And thanks to the refuge, they helped us rebuild from nothing. We came here and we got support through the counselors and stuff here, they gave us support and prayers, and through God's help, we found them and got the, the help that we needed. One of the goals of the refuge was total collaboration with all the churches in our area. A lot of churches these days don't have the staffing or any more the funding to support someone to come in on a staff to work on food and clothing and outreach ministry that they used to be able to do when money was a little bit easier to get as churches. So I come in and say, let us let us help you. Let us be that tool for you. Let us be the partnership that we're, if your church wants to come and volunteer, we'll give you a specific night where you come and volunteer as a whole body and work as, a, as an organization in the facility. I needed help in being able to get another job. And in order to do that, I had to go back to school and I knew I needed to, but I couldn't afford to. And in the process, the refuge, thanks to Julie, who is one of the people here, she got me in touch with C9, and C9 helped me with my GED, and then Work One picked up and helped me get, get my testing done. And thanks to them, after 24 years, I got my high school education. And to tell you the truth, they're God sent. Without them, I don't know what we would have done. They helped us with clothing and food, and they basically gave us a new life. Without them, I don't know what we would do. Your time is so valuable to us. We can always find things for you to do. And as we get to learn your skills and you get to learn more about what we do for the community, then you yourself will find out things that you want to do. If you need help, seriously need the help, don't hesitate to come. They're here to help you. That's what they're for. And without them, there may not be any other resources. There, there may be some others, but they will help you as much as they can. They will do anything they can to help you. You just need to come and see them and talk to them so that they can help you in a way that they can. If you want to be involved with The Refuge, go on the website www.therefugeinc.com. We are always looking for more people to be involved with The Refuge. We, we have a database of 250 to 300 people now, but we need you. And 
Regardless of what you think your talents are, you have talents that somebody needs. We can find a job for everybody to do.